Hi guys, we are here for dinner at Celebar. Yeah, hi guys. So you're going to join us today for drinks and dinner here at Celebar. And this is one of the coolest bars and restaurants, definitely on Pico Island and beyond. Yeah, so we are located in uh, Madalena and uh, a beautiful spot right on the coast. But we're going to take you guys in and we're going to share a, a lovely evening with you. All right, welcome. <music> fortunate uh, to be here. We got invited by one of the owners, Philippe Paulu, and uh, yeah, when he asked us to come and uh, we, we were thrilled. We've been here before. It's always been great. Uh, it's been a while since I had dinner here. Today we're going to have some dinner, or I should say we all are going to have dinner here today. Yes, you guys are joining us for dinner. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, and for anyone that comes over to Piku, this has to be uh, a visit, either yes. for dinner, but let's say you can't do dinner or you have other dinner plans. You must come to the patio here to watch the sun set. Yes, it's absolutely gorgeous. You can see in the distance uh, Fayel, the island of Fayel, and just the panoramic view of the coast is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's a perfect location. You look to your left, you see the island of Fayal. You look to the right, St. George, Atlantic Ocean in front of us. Yes. And, um, it's just a, a beautiful uh, scenic view. So obviously uh, we're at a restaurant that's so going to get busy. We've got to warn you right off the bat so there'll be lots of noise in the background. Uh, <laughs> as you know, we don't have Hollywood With production. That, that just tells you that they're a very busy place. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, Especially uh, during tourist season. Um, it's, it's, sometimes it's difficult get to get reservations here. Yes. Uh, we'll, we'll share information throughout. Obviously, we're going to uh, show you the food, other foods that uh, I think the, uh, we were, our waiter is Raphael, or the manager. He's a cool guy. Yeah. We, and were, I would, very, we were greeted very warmly when we arrived. Yeah. I was going to say a Lou Ferrigno kind of, or Arnold kind of <laughs> setting, but we saw that. No, he's a super nice guy, and uh, it's, uh, we're very happy to have him in, in charge of this uh, evening for us. Yeah. They've been open about five years. And actually, right at the very beginning, they won uh, an award. It was the best bar in the world for architecture. It's become really popular over the years, and it's, it's literally a cool bar. You know, everyone has to visit. When you're inside, it, it looks like you're actually on a boat. Right? Yeah, exactly. So uh, we're going to go out on the patio later, but just uh, we're talking about it. Uh, there's a part downstairs that literally, if you angle it properly, looks like you're inside of a ship. Uh, more like a yacht, you know. When you're on top, on the patio, it's like you're it on a promenade. It reminds you of the Titanic. There's one point that yeah. you can stand and you feel like you're on the Titanic. Not sinking. No. Yeah, so the, the feeling is when you, if you're looking, you don't see the land, you just see water. And I've been on quite a few, a few cruises, and it's like you're out in the promenade or in the veranda, and all you see is the ocean. So it's a... Uh, they, they literally did a, um, the, the architecture, they had an old building here, rock, the lava rock from Pico. They transformed that, this, we're actually sitting inside that building, the upstairs. And then they added this wood structure uh, that makes it look like the boat part of it. You know, it's incredible, so yeah. you have to visit. I'm not gonna, I'm probably gonna repeat that throughout the night, but it's definitely a must visit. Um, actually, what I love about this, what they did in here, is they whitewashed the stone walls and they painted the, the rafters uh, white. white. Yeah. And just, it's it's really, really pretty. It's fresh. I can see why they won the award, uh, the architecture award, but I could also see just award on being the coolest bar. I mean, I can see that because it's, it's very unique, you know. Um, so... Uh, I can't wait to, to try the the food. Yeah, because I, I know we've eaten here before. Uh, it was pretty pretty amazing. And um, I don't and think the we've service. ever had dinner here. We've had no, a lunch here, and a we've lunch, had drinks. Yeah, here. it was lunch, not dinner. So it, we were due to have that. And, yes. and you're with us, or you're, we're both having we're all having dinner here for the first time. So 
Pico has a lot of cheeses. Now, why is the cheese of Pico and the Ezer so good? Uh, it's to do with the cows, what they eat, totally organic, uh, the milk, and the, just these three cheeses here are from this area, this town, Medellina, okay, close to where it's Celebar is. And um, the quality of this is incredible. And if you combine all the cheeses from the whole island of Pico, and the other eight islands, you can just imagine. So that's why a lot of uh, cheeses are being sent to the mainland and other parts of the world. Uh, in Portuguese, it's called Marca Açores. It's like the stamp of the Azores. That's how you know that uh, uh, the food and uh, like cheeses and milk and meat and uh, a lot of lot of lot of great food uh, here from the islands. <laughs> This anticipation. Oh my God. Mm. The honey. Unbelievable. It's like a little buttery. Oh, it's like melting in my mouth. Amazing. Amazing. Melting, melting. I just took you into the kitchen and you saw how the chef was making this dish and it's uh, a Thai vegetarian dish it has broccoli and carrots and cashews and rice and let's just try a little bit mmm delicious I'm having octopus, roasted uh, roasted octopus with potatoes, vegetables, carrots. Looks like coarse. Unbelievable! Like this, the, the smell of this is amazing. Look like how tender that is. The knife is. Mm. Oh. Mm. Oh. Beautiful, delicious. I am so full, but we have to try this dessert because this was recommended by Raphael. Actually, he recommended both of them. This is the chocolate mousse. Mm. That's heaven. Our second dessert is called creamy rice caramel. That's the fifth take saying this. Anyways, let me taste it. Has rice, peanuts, and caramel. Delicious. Mm. So, just to end the evening, uh, Philippe and Raphael brought us over a very special drink here. It's called Sar. It's probably the oldest wine made, it goes way back. They used to uh, export this to the Tsars of Russia, royalty in Britain. It's a really amazing wine, and uh, for example, there's a bottle here, 2011, and it's it's really really good. It's a very uh, they don't use any. It's totally organic, and it still gets 18% high alcohol uh, without adding anything. It's incredible. And I'm going to show you another bottle here. This was pretty heavy. So I, I can't even drop this because it's this is at least if three. If you drop this, it'll yeah. cost you three thousand. It's just to show you. We're not having Actually, this. Euros. Three to four thousand. I don't know. I'm just guessing, but it's up there. It's still the most expensive. Very special wine. Uh, again, it's called Czar, 
And uh, anyways, we got a toast here to all you guys and to Celebar. A very cool bar. Very, very cool bar. Cheers. Mm. Oh my God. Good. Sweet. Thanks, Philippe. <laughs> thank you, Philippe. Thanks, Raphael. And thank you, Salabar. an amazing dinner and uh, we hoped you guys enjoyed being along with us uh, yeah the meal is amazing uh, <laughs> starters the main entree everything was amazing um, the selection of wine that Raphael recommended was uh, really really good and um, we'd like to thank Philippe Raphael and the rest of the Celebar team for uh, making this happen inviting us and uh, service was very, service was unbelievable very nice. Uh, so I would, again, like I repeated at the beginning of the video, if you're on, uh, on Pico Island, or even if you're in Fayal, it's worth the ferry over to come over to Celebar because you'll have an amazing experience. The food is great and uh, we can't wait to be back. We're actually, this is our last week, uh, we're leaving next week back to Canada if they don't cancel the flight. So make me cry. Yeah, we'd like to thank uh, again all your supporters. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And, and we uh, will be keeping up the videos. Yeah, we're going to keep up with our schedule once a week. And the next time you see us, it will be in Canada. Canada. We have arrived in Canada, guys. Yeah, we are back in our hometown, Oakville. Beautiful Oakville. Yes, we are very happy to be back. And we hope you guys enjoyed this last video. And we will definitely see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.